Racing pigeons, like all birds, have a highly specialized respiratory system that differs greatly from mammals. A key component of this unique system is a series of interconnecting air sacs that work in close collaboration with the lungs, trachea, and bronchi to facilitate oxygenation and respiration. There are nine major air sacs in birds, and racing pigeons possess all nine of these air sacs to maximize their oxygen intake capacity and meet the high demands of sustained vigorous flight. The primary function of the avian respiratory system is the same as in mammals, to provide oxygen to the blood and remove carbon dioxide. But birds have evolved a far more efficient respiratory design by incorporating supplementary air sacs that maintain a continuous, one-way flow of air through the system. When a pigeon inhales, air flows past parabronchi, the site of gas exchange, in the lungs before continuing on to fill the posterior and caudal air sacs. Then as the bird exhales, deoxygenated air flows out of the lungs before fresh, oxygen-rich air is drawn in from air sacs located towards the front of the bird. This cross-current system of gas exchange maximizes oxygen uptake, a key adaptation for meeting the metabolic demands of flight. The entire system of air sacs paired with the specialized parabronchial lungs allows for continuous, unidirectional airflow during both respiration phases. The volume of air sac space also dwarfs the actual lung volume. Air sacs are expansive and take up a considerable portion of the pigeon's thoracic, neck and abdominal cavity. This anatomical design provides an extensive reserve of supplemental oxygen. Nine out of the bird's 12 thoracic vertebrae even have attachments points for air sacs. Overall, the airspace network facilitates far more gas exchange and oxygen delivery to power vigorous muscular output compared to the tidal, bidirectional flow limited lungs of mammals. Of the nine air sacs present in pigeons, there are two cervical air sacs, two clavicular air sacs, two anterior thoracic air sacs, two posterior thoracic air sacs and one abdominal air sac. Their highly vascularized nature, with abundant blood capillaries surrounding the air sac membranes, also assists efficient oxygen diffusion into the blood plasma. The two cervical air sacs are located in the lower neck and help fill space not occupied by the esophagus and crop. These air sacs connect to the lungs and thoracic air sacs by narrow diverticula. When they inflate, the cervical air sacs expand outwards in the neck region. The two clavicular air sacs are situated just above the wing base, below the pectoralis minor. These air sacs aid inspiration by helping draw air from outside the body through the bronchi, lungs and posterior air sacs. The clavicular sacs then fill on expiration. The two anterior thoracic sacs, also called cranial or dorsal thoracic air sacs, extend the length of the thorax near the vertebral column. These longer sacs form tunnels bordering each side of the spine to occupy dead air space in this dorsal thoracic cavity zone. They help drive unidirectional airflow during both inspiration and expiration phases. Similarly, the two posterior thoracic sacs, also termed caudal or ventral thoracic air sacs, parallel the anterior sacs along the sternum at the front ventral region of the thorax. The vertebrae attachments of the anterior sacs alternate with sternal attachments of the posterior air sacs for structural integrity. These posterior air sacs connect directly with the lungs and are the main recipients of deoxygenated waste air from the end parabronchi during early expiration. Lastly, birds possess a single median abdominal air sac. This sac is situated along midline between the ventral abdominal body wall and the gastrointestinal organs. It has flexible extensions called parapatagia that project into spaces between the abdominal viscera. In racing pigeons, this abdominal air sac plays crucial respiratory roles both at rest and during flight. It acts as the receptacle for freshly inhaled external air prior to that air then moving to fill other downstream air sacs and the lungs. The oxygenation gradient this abdominal air sac creates helps drive rapid inward airflow when racing pigeons need to quickly maximize their oxygen uptake rates. All told, these nine interlinked air sacs create a highly specialized unidirectional flow through a system adapted for meeting extreme aerobic demands. Racing pigeons in particular rely extensively on this efficient respiratory anatomy and physiology to maintain sustained vigorous flight, sometimes for hundreds of miles. The expansive air space reservoir provided by just the abdominal and posterior thoracic air sacs alone exceeds the total capacity of the parabronchial lungs by over triple in some cases. This incredible supplemental oxygen storage ability gives racing pigeons a tremendous stamina edge. Coupled with a high-density capillary network to facilitate oxygen diffusion, robust heart and circulation components to pump oxygenated blood, and a system design that eliminates dead space ventilation inefficiencies, racing pigeons truly showcase how evolution can maximize physiological systems down to the finest details. When one considers the incredible long-distance flight feats racing pigeons can achieve, their elaborate respiratory anatomy deserves respect and admiration from biologists and anatomists alike.
get my main racing system just email me direct. I'm an experienced ex-pigeon racer from England, and I can offer valuable insights and guidance on all aspects of pigeon racing, from breeding to racing. During my racing days, I managed a small team of no more than 70 pigeons, including stock, young birds, and old birds. It was not uncommon for me to send as few as six birds to a race and still secure the top three positions out of up to 2,500 pigeons in my club and federation. My race distances typically ranged up to 300 miles, and I consistently achieved top five placements in my club. My expertise extends to the art of selecting excellent breeders, including evaluating pigeons based on their assigned characteristics. I firmly believe that true champions can only be bred from top quality stock, and I can guide you in identifying and acquiring such pigeons. I understand that many pigeons for sale are advertised based on their lineage or pedigree, but I emphasize the importance of assessing the bird itself rather than relying solely on paperwork. As part of my offer, I invite you to share photos of your pigeons, including their eye sign and wing characteristics. I'll provide you with free advice on racing and breeding based on my extensive experience and knowledge. Additionally, I will share auction links to high-quality breeding birds that have the potential to produce winners in your loft. Here's what you can expect to receive from me. A comprehensive Word document containing valuable insights and strategies for successful pigeon racing, including specific racing methods for both old and young birds, as well as general advice. Private YouTube videos sent to your email, covering various aspects of pigeon racing, from breeding to race preparation. Detailed recommendations on supplements and additives to add to your pigeon's drinking water, with scientific evidence supporting their effectiveness. Similar products are used by professional athletes and racehorses to enhance performance. Assurance that your pigeons will race home faster, provided that you have quality birds to begin with.